right, hello again. Um, one more quick video just to talk about one other ways we're going to be using trig functions, and that's to find a missing angle measure. So you'll notice up in example two, we knew what the angle measure was, and then we used the trig function to find the side length that we didn't know. In this one, I know the two side lengths, but I don't know what the angle is, okay? So we're going to call this x, right? Our angle is like our x. And then just like before, I want to figure out which two sides am I working with. So the hypotenuse is across from the 90, right? So the 17 is my hypotenuse. And the 8 is right next to the x, so this would be my adjacent side. This side over here would be my opposite side, don't know, don't care, okay? And so this time I'm using a and h, which if you look up at Sokotoa would be cosine. And so when I set this ratio up, it's cosine, but this time I don't know what the angle is. Up here I knew that my angle was 22, so I was able to put that in. I don't know the angle here, so I'm just going to put x equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's h over 17. So now I know the ratio of sides. I just don't know which angle that goes along with. Okay, And remember we talked about when we did this, like back here, we talked about sine 22, that's saying this is the ratio every single time the angle is 22 degrees. So now what I want to do is ask my calculator, what angle has this as a ratio? And the way that you do this is with the inverse trig functions. Okay, The inverse trig functions, that's not like a like an inverse like we've been talking about earlier in the year. Um, the inverse trig functions are the ones that are up above the sine, cosine, and tangent key. See the ones with the little negative 1 there? So what we are going to type in here is we're going to type in second cosine, okay, because cosine is the function we're using, and then we do 8 divided by 17. And what this is really asking is it's asking the calculator what angle has this ratio for its cosine. Okay. It's asking the calculator to go in its big database of all the different cosine values and find the angle that goes along with that relationship. And your calculator is going to tell you it's 61.9 degrees. I think we're rounding to the nearest whole number. Oh, looks like the directions got cut off a little bit. We are. We're rounding to the nearest whole number. So I would say that x is approximately 62 degrees. Okay. And just to verify here, if I did the cosine of 62 degrees, I get this 0.469 number. If I do 8 divided by 17, I get something awfully, awfully close. The difference there is really just because of the rounding that we did back here with the 61.9. Okay, But that's what we're really doing is your calculator is saying here's the exact angle that has the cosine that you're looking for. We're looking for this cosine here. Okay, so one more quick one here, this third one, um, same, same deal, except this time you're given all three sides. So how do you pick which trig ratio to use? Well, it doesn't really matter, okay? You could do sine, cosine, or tangent. You just pick your favorite. So if this is my x, my hypotenuse is across from the 90, from x, this one would be the opposite, and this one would be the adjacent. So I am just randomly picking, and I'm going to pick tangent. So I'm going to say tangent of x equals opposite over adjacent. So that would be 76 over 57. And then what I'm typing into my calculator is this right here. Inverse tan, that's the tan with the little negative 1, of 76 divided by 57. Okay. And so I'm asking the calculator, what angle has this tangent? I guess I should show you what I'm typing in. 76 divided by 57, about 53 degrees. And that's it. We're good to go. So for today, these three things are what I'm asking you to do in your homework. I'm asking you to be able to set up trig ratios. Now I should point out, back up here in example one, we were setting up these fractions just like down here we were setting up the fractions, right? 
But these ones up here only wanted to know what is the sine of A. Sine of A is a ratio. It's a fraction. Okay, so it only wanted that answer. Down here, we wanted to know what is the actual angle measure. We wanted to know what does that angle equal, and that's why we took this step of doing the inverse tan. Okay, up in example one, we didn't do inverse sine, although we could have, because we were trying to find, we weren't trying to find what the angle measure was. Okay, I think that'll do it for me today. I realized that was a lot of video. Um, so you've got some practice problems in between to try out and then a homework assignment.